Hello to you all and welcome to Improvate's International Innovation Conference. Improvate is a platform for creating long-lasting connections, enabling change makers in technology and decision makers in government to make progress through innovation. Improvate is all about finding solutions and sparking collaborations that will improve the quality of life for people around the world. Today, we will be discussing how the world is showing the first signs of being on the way to emerging from the global crisis and how innovation and technology will enable us to learn, travel and improve health systems in the post-COVID world. Joining us today from Belgrade, President Rosen Plevnilev, the president of Bulgaria between 2012 and 2017. And here at the studio, he provides founder and chair Irina Nevzlin. And throughout this uh, special broadcast, we will be hearing from ministers and ambassadors from Greece, Serbia, Montenegro, Poland, and Bulgaria. And of course, a key pillar of Improvate conferences, leading Israeli innovation companies presenting technological solutions that will take the world beyond the current crisis. Moving on to the COVID vaccine, let's introduce uh, Mrs. Zoya Panova, CEO of Bulgaria AstraZeneca, who's joining us from Belgrade. AstraZeneca is one of the few companies that has already successfully developed a vaccine. Mrs. Zoya Panova was able to record us a video earlier today. Let's take a look. Dear Mr. President, Your Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to speak among such a distinguished guest, and I regret that I couldn't join the discussion live. Israeli society has a long history fostering innovation and entrepreneurship. Israel is a nation that sanctifies innovation. The humanity faced serious challenges throughout the pandemic and we look for the answers in science and innovation. The key question here, and especially for our Eastern European region, it is how we can master innovation. And platforms such as Improvate are bright and brilliant examples how bridging governments and innovative companies could facilitate finding solutions. In our region, we can learn one lesson from Israel. Do not innovate for yourself. Innovate for the world. And then the world will come and invest in your country. Digitalization is the area of innovation where our region, and Bulgaria in particular, is achieving remarkable results. The pandemic forced governments to rethink the role of the digital technology in healthcare. And our belief in AstraZeneca as a leading bioscience company is that digital will become the norm across pharma and it will be embedded in every aspect of healthcare, resulting in vividly better outcome for patients. Evolving technologies such as artificial intelligence will assist the healthcare system, will empower people, will help patients to be better informed and make healthier choices. So we want to continue climbing together to strengthen the digital identity of our healthcare systems. Thank you, and I wish you a purposeful discussions. Thank you. We are seeing here today innovative solutions that can save life and improve health systems. Uh, can you tell us, uh, is Bulgaria encouraging implementation of new technologies in its health systems? Well, in our country with 7 million population, we have approximately 300 hospitals, 10 of them uh, specializing in cancer, especially as we're talking about this amazing um, technology we are seeing right now. Um, Recently, with the help of the European Union uh, development money, we had a program for almost half a billion dollars to uh, technologically reshape our hospitals. Uh, a lot of scanners, a lot of other equipment has been purchased. This program is going to be doubled in the next uh, seven years as we are planning for the period 2021, 2027. Uh, to further modernize our hospitals. It was also encouraging that uh, we have uh, world-leading hospitals like, uh, like um, uh, Tokuda from Japan or Jebadem uh, from Turkey. 
cooperation with John Hopkins that are um, opening some branches in my country. So speaking about my country, I can I surely say, say we have a new program uh, that is going to be implemented 2021, 2027, with at least $700 million dollars on uh, reshaping technologically our hospitals. But if you put the region together, Greece is even bigger and more advanced of us, Romania, Croatia, all the 11 countries, surely we're speaking about thousands of hospitals and uh, several billion dollars of, uh, of money that will pour into modernization for the next uh, three to five years time. So Israeli companies are really welcome. It's the right time to come. And that's it from Improvade's uh, Innovation Conference. Uh, we've heard today from Eastern European government officials, local companies, and from Israel's leading innovation and tech companies about new technologies and opportunities beyond the current crisis. Improvade is all about access and connections, exposing Israeli tech leaders to governments and companies around the world to promote businesses whose goal is innovation. The exposure right here at this conference is just a first step. The next step, delegations and real businesses connections. Uh, we want to thank you all for taking part and hope that this is just a start of doing business together, making technology accessible to all and improving the lives of people across the world. A special thanks to the Jerusalem Development Authority and to the innovation companies who presented here. Kamada, Zebra Medical Vision, Data Ed Tech Labs, Sivan, Tempramed Israel, Novitec Medical Solutions, Genix, HD Bio Imaging, and Sophie. Keep it up.